back to another video and in this video I am doing the mistakes I've made while healing or while newly single some mistakes I've already made um, I am now four months single after a four-year relationship if this is your first time watching um, I have a video on that if you want to see I have healing videos if you want to see go check it out but without further ado I just gotta get into it jump right into it for those of you who are not new and requested to see this video so i'm gonna start off by saying this video is very impromptu yesterday i told myself i was gonna write down an actual list put it in my notes but i didn't and today i'm just like okay i gotta film this video so this is very impromptu i don't know what i'm about to say i'm just gonna let it roll off um and pray for the best <laughs> okay so you know, the healing process after going through a breakup is not pretty, especially if you were in a long relationship like I was, if you were friends with the person for a long time like I was. It's not pretty um, having a brand new life or just, your life just changed like a whole 360. So it's not pretty. Um, and I would go into this video saying the first mistake I made was thinking that it, the healing process was just going to be um, like a ladder. Like you just keep going up, up, you know, and up, 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 and then you're good. You know, you're at the top. You can walk free. Um, that's mistake number one. Thinking the healing process is just going to, you know, be smooth sailing and then you're over it. You're over him. You're over her, whatever. The healing process is nothing like that. It's one day you're high, the next day you're low. The next day you're high, the next day you're low. The next day you're medium, the next day you're high, the next day you're low. I feel like during the healing process, all of your emotions continue to change each day. Some days you're going to hate the person you just got a relationship with. The next day you're going to miss them. The next day you're going to you're gonna be sad. The next day you're going to be thinking about what you did wrong. It is definitely a roller coaster where you just continue to go up, down, up, down, up, down. It's really not a smooth sailing process and for me I just feel like though you may be over the situation though I may be you know moving on I have to understand I'm still going to feel because again this is the peak of four I mean this is the start of month four um for me being single so I think a lot of times I try to swallow what I feel instead of just not expressing it but acknowledging it I try to swallow if I feel like okay I might be missing this person I try to swallow that instead of just letting myself just just feel so yeah healing process it's a roller coaster don't try to accelerate it don't try to whatever whatever another thing is mistakes that a mistake that I've made is allowing the wrong people giving the wrong people my time allowing the wrong people to get to know me I'm a person where I'm like okay if somebody's supposed to come in my life God is gonna bring them so I don't go out here looking for any man or any relationship or I don't I don't be out here shooting my shot um I feel like you know God I'm a person that believe God is gonna bring the person to you so, for instance, I'll open, about, I'll open up about something briefly. So, like, if a person asks me for my number or something, I may or may not give it to them. But, for instance, there was a, a very fresh situation that I'm dealing with right now where um, a guy, I met him in class, um, he asked me for my number on the very first day of class. So at that point, I was one month post breakup, and you know, he wasn't my type, and I try not to be like shallow about it, like okay, you're not my type or whatever. But I let him know I'm like, I'm fresh out of a four year relationship. It's nothing that I can really give you right now because I'm focused on giving myself this time. And to make a long story short. Uh, we proceeded to, you know, just text, get to know each other, whatever, whatever. And the situation just turned, it was, it's just really bad. 
um, it got to be really bad. Um, again, I let him know in the beginning, like, I'm fresh out of a relationship. I'm not ready. But the mistake I made in this situation, because I don't want to, if I keep talking, I'm going to say too much. The mistake I made in this situation is starting something else when I'm not fully recovered from something from the past. So you can, don't put yourself in a situation where you're starting something else with somebody and you're not even over the situation you have in the past or you're just not fully healed and you're not just fully ready. Um, I think I may not be ready. Um, again, this is my fourth going in. This is the top of my four month single. I'm not ready to just, I'm not ready to, I don't know if to date is the word or to have a person that I'm really talking to is the word. I don't know. That's another mistake I made. Just opening up something with somebody else when it's just not that time. I don't, I don't know. Um, and I allow that situation, I, I allow myself in that situation to not be treated the way I want it to be treated. I allow myself in that situation to kind of be used. Um, I moved, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some lingo for y'all. So if you're from Atlanta, you know what I'm finna say. I moved the way I don't usually move in that situation. I made some decisions I should not have made in that situation. Um, I did a lot of stuff I regret in that situation. And I know you're not supposed to regret nothing because everything is a learning lesson. But I shouldn't be in a situation where I'm in tears, where I'm crying, where it's a bad, messed up situation when I'm not even through dealing with something else. So now I just have, I have frustration and still sadness and sorrow and anger from something that happened four months ago. And now I'm opening up and I got sad, sorrow and frustration for something now that could I, if I had I just shut all of that off, I wouldn't even be in this situation right now. It's like, um, I allow myself to be mistreated when I'm in a vulnerable space. That's another mistake you ladies don't want to make while you're healing. Um, again, don't open yourself up to a new situation until you're fully over the other one. But don't allow yourself to feel a void and be lonely and then be mistreated by somebody while you're in a vulnerable place. They know you're in a vulnerable place. They know you're at a low point and then you allow yourself to be mistreated. That's just like a a no. And I really don't want to dig too much into that situation because... I really can't blame the person because they fight in their own demons, but I can blame me because I knew better in a sense. But again, I'm that person that believes if God brings somebody into my life, it's for a reason um, to teach me something or I'm supposed to be there. So I was going into that with that mindset, but you can't do that with a person that's already at war with themselves. It's just a lot, guys. I'm not going to open about it right now. I will open up about it in the future, but right now it's just not. Because that'll put y'all too much of my business. <laughs> okay, so don't rush yourself to heal. Understand that healing is a roller coaster. Under, allow yourself to um, feel the feelings of each day. Um, don't try to rush the process. Don't make mistakes that I've made by starting something new when you're not even through with the old. It's a huge, it's, it's just a huge mistake. Just go with the flow with, in any situation you're in. Don't rush in. Don't rush in kiss. Don't rush in fall in love. Don't rush in catch feelings. Don't rush in have sex. Just don't rush and do none of that. It's just, it's not a good, it's going to be a sticky, bad situation. Just don't do it. And don't allow anybody to use you while you're in a low, vulnerable space where you just got, you know, through with something. Take this the healing time just to have fun with your friends, party, turn up, get to know you, stay out, just stay out of problematic situations. And always, no matter how you feeling, use your head, not your heart. Use your head when you're making decisions. I know you may 
fall for somebody soon after or you may I don't know just use your head <sighs> just use your head okay use your head so I know you guys a lot of y'all probably gonna be in the comments like trying to you know nitpick around yes there was something new going on it wasn't time I'm just gonna sit sit out of the game for a minute because <laughs> I allowed myself to be hurt in that situation and I'm still healing off of previous hurt so now I have hurt on this shoulder and hurt on this shoulder and it's just not a good situation for me but my head is always up to the sky <laughs> so yeah um what else do I have to say to y'all what else do I have to say to y'all yeah I'm sitting out of the game right now I know that I'm a person that feels the need to be needed. That's my personality trait. So I like cooking for people, caring for people. I'm a relationship type of person. I'm a family origin person. That is my aspirations in life to be a, a wife, a businesswoman, and a mother. But I can't focus on all that right now. When God says it's time, it's time. And the time is not now. This is my last, going into my last semester of college. I'm going to graduate. Um, I'm going to be single until... <laughs> I'm gonna be single and talking to no one and by myself until whenever God say move. <laughs> Cause when you try to move on your own and make it, you know, when you try to move on your own and do and make make decisions on your own and move without God's timing, it's always gonna fail. So done with all that. Other than that, hopefully I told y'all the mistakes I made. No rushing the healing process. No thinking that the healing process is gonna be a ladder. It's a roller coaster. Um, don't open yourself up for new relationships when you're still recovering um, from your old. Don't allow yourself to be used when you're at a low point. Um, use the time that you think is lonely to be productive. So clean up, read a book, do some YouTube videos, um, listen to some music, um, do all of that. Hope I get you guys some insight. If you want some story time or something, let me know. You guys know I'm an open book and I love y'all, so I don't mind opening up. And But I don't think it's time for, you, for me to tell you guys in depth about this current situation. Because I don't feel it's resolved, so love y'all thank you for watching and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video